Hello, cursed tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3 with me, Blue Ankylo. So before I get back to the battle, I just want to briefly mention what I've been doing at the shop in between episodes. So, um, I did a couple things here. After I, uh, resurrected, uh, uh, Hazuki, I sold off her, uh, cursed weapon and went with, um, went with, uh, mithril weapons. So, uh, in case you're wondering how to do it, if you have the... Uh, Chaos Ring, the one that uh, nullifies curses, you can't uh, go to a priest and have the curse removed which unequips the weapon. You have to unequip the accessory first and then you can go to the priest, pay uh, it was 5,700 gold, which is a lot of money, to remove a cursed weapon. And then after that you can sell it and uh, get other weapons. And in case you're wondering, it's actually, this is like a new thing, I didn't know this. You, um, actually can make a lot of money turning your Dark Matter into weapons. Uh, the Dark Matter you can sell for like 800 if you want, or, uh, for like 12,000 or 14,000 you can turn it into a cursed weapon. But then you can sell the cursed weapon for more than you paid the blacksmith. And more than the blacksmith plus the Dark Matter as well. So, um, I also made, with my other two Dark Matter, I made a Dark Sword. This was from, uh, Midian. Which, again, I'm never going to use, but I want to show it. It's kind of cool. I made a fair bit of money, and I made a Dark Halberd, which is the... I made it off of Campbell, technically, but it's because there's no uh, lances. Um, so, yeah, I thought, that's pretty cool. The, I think the Halberd made less money than the sword, and the Katana made about the same as the sword. Like, profit. Like, it just... You can craft them for slightly less and sell them for a bigger, bigger profit. Uh, so I did that, uh, and that gave me a little bit more money. So then I was able to craft up a couple more Mithril weapons. So we've got... Probably go for equip-wise. So you can see here we've got Campbell, who's got the Holy Lance, uh, which is really good, and uh, I'm glad I have it. It uh, regenerates 3 HP, and it does a lot of damage. We've also got the Dragon Axe, which... Switch over here just to show it. Uh, it's got a little bit of crit and some fire and ice resistance, which is... There was a different Mithril Axe for Rock that gives him defense, and I thought, that's good, but he actually has weak elemental protection. So I thought, this actually might be more useful, maybe. Uh, and then I bought the Wind Shuriken and the uh, the Rumbling Sea Katana. Now, these both have slightly higher, or slightly lower attack ratings than the Cursed Weapon, but because I didn't have to wear the Cursed Ring, um, or the, whatever, the, the Chaos Ring, I can equip the power ring, so not only do we get plus five defense, we recoup five of the attack points that we uh, we got from the cursed weapon. So the cursed weapon did, I believe, if I remember correctly, eight more damage than my mithril katana. And because you couldn't wear a, an accessory, um, the difference is actually three attack power. So you lose 30 dark resist, you don't get an accessory. The cursed weapons aren't very good, and then you can't use your katanas, or your, uh, your, your ranged weapons. So I thought that was, uh, it was worth a try, but I think it's definitely worse than going with mithril weapons. Uh, I also bought a, uh, a mithril dirk for David, mostly because it has the holy property. Uh, although, I think the silver spear does too. I should have bought him the holy element dagger, and then a spear with a different property. But it's, it's no big deal, I just, it's cheap, that was like 4,000 gold. So I have all the mithril weapons I want now, except, like, the off characters. Like, I didn't get anything for Robbie or for Walt. Uh, in fact, I think I sold Waltz's equipped weapon. Oh, you can't even see her from here. But I sold her equipped coral because I needed the money. <laughs> but uh, I still want to buy an Ankh, maybe. Uh, maybe, no, maybe some more uh, Sleepy Rods. And uh, maybe a wand. But basically, we're done with the mithril stuff. Um, so that's it. Yeah, I did what I wanted to do. All right, I will see you guys back once I'm done the first phase of the battle, and uh, hopefully I won't get Hazuki killed off camera. And hello again, tubers. So uh, I did the battle again, the first phase at least, and uh, everything went a little bit better this time. I definitely decided that Hazuki really does need to be able to equip a, uh, a shuriken-type weapon. It's... Uh, it really, really helps, and she only lost a couple attack points by switching to the katana. And she does a pretty good attack anyway with, uh, like, you know, Rumbling Sea katana is... Well, I think I said we'd be at, like, 73 or 74 damage if I'd kept the, uh... The cursed weapon and accessory combos, so, yeah. 
This one's pretty cool. Uh, I was thinking a little bit about, like, you know, I lost I lost her, like, she died last episode and I didn't reload, so we lost all of her um, friendship points. Well, everyone lost one level. And I was thinking about it in between episodes here while I was fighting, and um, I don't think the support points are as valuable late game once you've got the mithril weapons. Think about it like this. We're doing... When we attack an enemy, I'd say almost everyone can do 30 damage minimum to 40 or 50, um, maybe higher with a good skill activation. So think plus 5 attack from standing next to Medion doesn't, like, we're going to kill an enemy in 2 hits or 1 hit, kind of no matter what. So adding plus 5 damage or up to plus 10 damage, just, it's not a huge difference. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but... Early on, when you're just doing, you know, 4 or 5 damage, this could easily double it. Um, critical defense has never been that amazing. Um, magic damage, at least it has like the, the effect of AoE, so it could be plus 5 damage to a big group of enemies, and that would help out a bit more. But it's the same kind of thing as Medion's bonus. A little bit more damage isn't probably going to tip the scales at the late game. Um, magic defense might get more useful, I guess, a little bit. Uh, defense is always good, though, because the enemy... The enemy's damage doesn't scale the same way as ours does. Uh, it goes up, certainly, but um, being able to position weaker units next to rock will always be good. And in fact, I kind of think the defense support is possibly just the best support bonus there is. Um, because even late game, getting 5 or 10 points of defense, like, Hazuki losing a level with rock was actually... That's the one that hurts. The other ones aren't so bad. Uh, skill activations, pretty cool, but a, not a big deal with Bernard. Uh, David is the same as Medion, gives you attack. Hedva's magic. Hera is, um, well, counter chance is probably one of the worst. And magic resistance is potentially useful late game. And I think, wasn't Robbie, if I actually used him, he's a defense bonus guy, right? So theoretically, keeping Robbie around might be a good idea because I do value his support a lot more than um, than most of the others. I still don't think I like him because he moves so slowly, only five spots. Um, but uh, whatever. Anyway, we, we need to go into this mansion. So I, I did start today's episode, or this, this section of the episode, at the beginning of the round. So I should be able to get everyone into the, the, the building on the same turn. Uh, we did get a couple level ups just redoing this battle. Nothing unreasonable, really. We're still a fair bit behind the level curve right now. I think everyone should probably be around level... Level 8 or 9 promoted, I think, you could easily get everyone to. So the fact that we're, we're seeing a lot of 3s and 4s shows you how far behind we are, kind of. So this place looks pretty cool. Fountains and cool little statues. You know, brother and father. Finally, the Medion army! Yeah, hey, hey, Dad. How's it going? Hey, bro. Hey, you knew they were coming! Well, what do you think? Eh. So, you were trying to stall until their arrival with useless conversation. Eh, I'm the, I'm the king, or the emperor. I do what I want. It's time to finish him, Arant. No matter the situation, he tried to fool us one time too many, and he almost succeeded. I'm really sorry. Uh, my poor father, your ploy has failed. Unless the White Knights decide to defend him instead of Arant. <laughs> Nothing can save you, father. Your life is mine now. Or the Rainbloods just pop in and one-shot Arant. Time to die! Uh... Wait, Arant, uh, I can't let you kill your own father. Such a job is not suited to a prince. And this is when Fidoret betrays Arant. Right? Because really, Emperor Domeric is the one holding all the cards, and Arant is just a foolish child. You, the Emperor's former right hand. You really want to finish him, Fidoret? <laughs> yeah, you still don't believe me? <laughs> let me do it, I want to kill him for no reason at all. <laughs> yes, yes, kill him! Your journey to the dark side will be complete! And... Betrayal. It's Game of Thrones up in this house. Iterate, I trusted you.
Yes, yes. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Now, go! Uh, Fidoretta, what are you doing? You're just gone stab, killed a rot right there, and then... <laughs> it's just all the guards just stand there. <laughs> the little... <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Royal Guard defense formation. Oh, surprise! The, the white knights are actually on Domeric's side and Fidoretta's side. Ah, <laughs> oh, Arant, your ploy for power, your play for power has failed you. I have never betrayed anyone. My loyalty has always been to the Emperor. I will never allow anyone to harm him. You fool. So, what about his abduction? Don't tell me you knew about it, or he knew about it. Somebody. Of course Domric knew about it. Haven't you guys been paying attention? I can't believe it. Domeric used our plan for his own gain. He knew his abduction would start a war with the Republic. Yes. <laughs> He's been looking to capture the Republic for years. This... this can't be. Tell me it's not true. Tell me it's not true. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Look, you were just a tool in the Emperor's pocket, you know. We underestimated him. He's been using us from the beginning. Gah! We should call for help. There's no one to help. Oh, Bozo! Save us! Oh, Deshrin. Deshrin? I haven't seen Deshrin in a while. Well, we're not as weak as we used to be. Wasn't she one of the ones killed by Rainblood? So she should be uh, a little bit low powered. Her and Basanda got their butts whooped. Bial got his butt whooped. Goriat, we haven't really fought Goriat yet, have we? Uh, did you call me Garvin? Yes. yes. 1-800-CALL-DASH. Um, have you recovered your wounds from the Abyssin Temple? Uh, well, Masanda has recovered, but uh, I could use another beauty nap. Uh, did you call me because of Domeric? You know, I told you he would betray you. Uh, yes, but uh, not only Donneric. Uh Look, there's an army down there. It's, yes, it's the Medion army is here. My troublesome brother, back again. The Medion army? But you told me you'd taken care of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, everyone is inept. No wonder Domeric gets his way. These guys are terrible. If they'd, instead of just arresting all of my guys, they could have just, they, they took their weapons, locked them in cells. They could have just killed them all and this would have been done. And so you want to borrow the power of the Bull's Home Sect. All right, leave it to me. But it will cost you. Uh, I'm a bit weak, but uh, I can probably manage the Median army. Yoink, magic army is appears. Honestly, do uh, you think this is going to stop us at all? Like six enemies. And Deshrin, well, what, she said about half strength, give or take, from what she used to be. Oh, and we don't even have to fight the masked monks, because they're going to get slaughtered by the royal guard. Slaughtered maybe is a strong word. They'll still die, though, surely. Surely. And the Royal Guard will probably die to poison or something. Whoa, yeah, they're, they're, getting, they're getting slaughtered. I, I knew the Royal Guard was tough. They're not going to move, though. That's their weakness. If they'd focused fire, they could have killed this monk. You guys are kind of dumb. Oh, well. All right, so what do we got? We got some harpies. I think this is the first time in scenario two we've had to fight them. They're, well, they're quick. They got pretty good attack power. We got a monk and one mage, right? So spark two is definitely the most dangerous thing I can see so far. Can't even kill uh, a Ront or, Gar or Garvin one day. And we got Deshrin, so Phoenix 2 will hurt, definitely. But she only has 130 HP, so if I time it right, I could probably wipe her out in a single round. 
You know, if she'd gone over here uh, with Freeze 3, she probably could have wiped this group out. Like, she could have stood fairly far away um, and just blasted these guys, five people with the AoE. Can't see what uh, Domeric's stats are. Or Fitterit's. You can see the Royal Guard, at least. Crazy attack, but pretty weak defense. All right, let's get to it. So, um... Well, the Harpies look like they're going to be fairly aggressive. We're going to want to mostly deal with that mage. That's the primary, uh, primary, uh, threat. Can't get close enough for a shuriken right now. Keep my mage is kind of in the back row here. All right, so he could attack us on the next round. He'd have just enough range, I think, to hit these two with Bolt 2. Spark 2. Whatever, you know. Okay, we're going to hold the line kind of here. That's the plan. These people, try to keep them out of range of any Spark shenanigans. The mage will attack next turn probably. Looks like they're... Oh, good! Reinforcements! They were hiding behind Garvin's desk all this time. So... No, we're gonna keep- we're gonna stay back. Like, I, I could try moving up now, but I want I want the mage to come at me first before we, we go for the, the fight here. I'm gonna keep Arthur a little bit back as well because of his low HP. He's kind of weak to magic in a way. Like, I know they gave him um, some magic resistance, but 8% reduction in damage doesn't make up for the fact that his total HP is so low. That's only like 8% more HP, which is uh, uh, maybe 2 or 3 points at uh, 30 HP. That's nothing, right? Playing it defensive. Just playing it safe. You know, guys. You know. So it looks like they're not even going to fight Finneret. They might just focus on the guards. wonder if I should be... I wonder if I'm supposed to be sending someone up there to rescue them, actually. That's... That's possible, too. I really don't care about Robbie. Like, if he dies, I don't give one care at all. So we'll just send him up to distract the Harpy a little bit. I didn't buy him a Mithril weapon, so you can see what it would be like if we hadn't bought weapons now. Uh-oh. Now what? Yasha has arrived. So who does Yasha work for? Yasha, your arrival is uh, surprising as usual. General Favar is defeated by the Zimbayasa. What? Are you sure, Yasha? Well, I can't believe the brave and powerful Fafard has been defeated by Conrad's son. High Priest Fial is our old last hope. I have ordered Fafard's son, Braff. To execute our plan sooner than expected. So, Sid by us, it's finally reached Flagard, and what of Palsis? Masanda was heading for it, but I don't think we can count on her at the moment. I also doubt Braff can be relied upon so soon after hearing of his father's defeat. His father has been killed. He will need some time to clear his head. Do we really need his help? Graf has a... I don't know. There's too many evil voices here. <laughs> They're overlapping. Graf has a big role to play. Yeah, whatever. Look, we know what happens. We already saw scenario one. As you requested, the Seagate was captured. They will not be able to use it anymore. Now that's just mean. Good. Now go with Prince Arant. I will hold off the Median army while you invade Aspir. Yeah, 
yes, I agree. Cover our escape, Deshrin. Remember, our main objective is the invasion of Aspia. We've almost won the war. We have almost won the war. Ah, too many voices. I lost it. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. We wouldn't have had all these setbacks if Medion hadn't helped Symbios so much. What? He helped Conrad's son. Your last son doesn't share your ambition. <laughs> He's causing problems for all of us. I can't believe it, Midian. You were really impressed with him, but it seems you misjudged him. It seems Arant is right. Eh. I think uh, Domric actually likes the backstabbing, conniving son of his, even though he's going to kill him. Well, Yasha... He seems to be working for Arant. For now. Emperor Dobrik, Garvin has been plotting against you from the very beginning. Taking Aspia has been the dream of many people for many years. Good. They made it to the Seagate. That's my ship you stole, you wench. Come on, Midian. If you want to save Emperor Domric, you have no choice but to defeat me, and that's not likely. Alright, well. I'm a little bit worried because we haven't been uh, rushing towards Domric very much, but... I'm just gonna put Uryudo at a just out of range for this, just so that the the spark spell, if he does target Uryudo, will only hit like just Uryudo. We're gonna make kind of a it's like a diagonal plus one, so that the range two spark can't hit multiple people. And he went for Medion anyway, so of course he did. It's not like it does a ton of damage, it's just... It takes a long time to heal that if it hits the whole group. Alright, time to die. Um... Time to switch to regenerating MP. Actually, the mage... <laughs> Interestingly enough, again, <laughs> the mage only gets one blast of spark two, and then he's out of MP. That's a pretty terrible mage, all things considered. I don't need to rush him down at all anymore. <laughs> I was thinking I could go for a big attack or something, but it's, it's not needed. I was thinking of going with soul steel as well, but like... What's the point? Just waste your MP? So, we'll just have Hera heal. I've been using her MP a fair bit this fight. Um, trying to get her level up a bit. Trying to get some new spells, really, but... Uh, she doesn't have a lot of MP, unfortunately. You know, monks. It all started with Gong long, long ago. Hmm. Sorry, but you cannot panic a robot. I wonder if he actually does have, like, status protection that I just don't know about. He might be really good. If, if he is immune to status elements because he's a robot, and he has a good support bonus, and he can get range 3 shells, maybe I should consider him, actually. Maybe I could put him in instead of Hera. Because she's... Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. And we'll have Midian go this way. Actually, I'm going to have him use his dagger because I don't want to one-shot the, uh, the harpy. I want friend points. As much as I don't think they're all that useful later game, I still want them. I want all the points. Hmm. Maybe panic doesn't have a status effect, actually. 
can't reach. Can't reach. Well, this guy's probably dead. Bernard does a stupid amount of damage. I don't think I've seen Bernard fail to kill anything he's shot since I've uh, bought him a new bow. And he continues to get three attack every level up. That's, uh... That's what I want out of an archer. I like it. Arthur... Probably will do more damage with his spear than his magic at the moment. It's close, though. His stats are pretty weak. I could switch uh, Robbie for Arthur as well. So, we gotta be careful here with Campbell. Can't make. We just have to make sure the Harpies are dead. So I'll probably want, like, David or Rock to go throw an axe at that one, and we should be fine otherwise. Stay a little bit further back so maybe Eryudo has an easier time healing him. Oh, actually, uh, I should have switched... I should have gone for melee with his Lance, because his Lance regenerates HP. Which is... Good thing, good thing. This is probably the last royal guard they'll kill. And they didn't even kill him. Never mind. Poison will get him. So David is kind of turning into primarily a tomahawk user because of the range 3. Nice HP. Attack and defense are standard. I think our stats will stop increasing so insanely once we hit about level 10, but uh, for now we may as well enjoy it. So I guess I should start sending people towards Domeric just in case. I feel like they're probably fine, but you never know. Like I don't think I could have made it up there in time to fight those two, the first two Masked Monks. like. We don't have zero, we can't fly. That's good. <laughs> Kill each other. But, um... If there's more reinforcements that attack Domeric, uh, I should probably head that way. What can this guy get? Uh, yeah, we got lots of space. I'm gonna send Hera over this way to heal. Well, she does have a couple uh, healing items, so she can use the uh, the drops on Robbie. Yeah, come come attack Midian. It'll be fine. I feel like this is a one of the easier battles we've had in a while. Just because we've got all these weapons, it seems, seems like we're pretty strong today. Of course, we will still try to lure the Masked Monks away from Desharin once we get up there. Oh, you know what I should have done? Again, I forgot. I always forget. I should really be bringing that Elbasim Orb. I'm pretty sure we have it in storage, don't we? Or, or did we send that back to Symbios? I forget. If we have access to it, I probably should have brought it. Because, um, uh, it would probably lower Tishrin's defenses. I would really like Uryudo to have a re regenerating MP right now. That would be awesome. I'm not sure if I have a good way of doing that, though. Like, the Princess Circlet, uh, regenerates MP for girls, but once we get it. We don't have that yet, either, but... You know what? Just do some more damage here. Might as well. Gets her a bit more experience.
This will quite likely kill him easily. I believe that would have put him into uh yeah, that would have one shot him. Um what's the what's the effect? The uh, illusion effect if it hadn't uh if it hadn't just killed him. Honestly, healing drops are cheap enough now. I don't mind buying a couple of these, sort of half-wasting them. They used to be a little bit expensive, but now it's not so bad. Uh, I think today's episode will just go a little bit longer. It's right about 30 minutes now, but uh, I think we're just going to finish the fight off. Unless suddenly a huge swarm of reinforcements appear. But yeah. Oh, there's more reinforcements. So it looks like they might spawn once you get to the top of the uh, stairs there. So they're going to use swords. They'll have weapon advantage on rock. Rock has 36 defense. So they're going to do... Not a lot of damage, honestly. Uh, maybe 7 or 8. And I'm not sure if they'll focus on the Royal Guards anyway. Like, they, they might not even attack uh, my force. So probably some more reinforcements once we step up here, right? No? No. Maybe... Here, how far can these guys move? One more square, so we'll just put, we'll put Medion in front of uh, Hazuki. Everyone's getting tired running up these staircase. This staircase. Ah, uh, now Arthur unfortunately doesn't have great defense. We're gonna put him uh, in the corner here. One could attack him, but only one. How's David's? David's is the same, so keep him beside Rock, and only one could attack him. That guy did not attack us, even though he could have. Alright, so one went for Arthur. Kind of to be expected. I suppose I didn't actually factor in, but if we got poisoned here, it would be rather difficult to, to deal with. I think we only have one antidote herb on this side of the battle. I was guessing seven or eight. That guy only did five. Pathetic. Okay, uh, I guess the priority is to kill the one over here, because, um... Because reasons. Honestly, it's not a big deal. Uh, I was hoping Robbie would be able to shoot him. That's what I get for not buying him a mithril weapon. Okay, we want to keep Hedva out of range, though, if possible. She doesn't. She's still not very tanky yet. Or wait, no. She's getting there. She's getting better. She used to be much weaker defensively. Azuki is, especially with that power ring, her defense is definitely more sustainable now. Alright, Arthur. I'm not sure if I prefer him uh, leveling up his spear or his halberd first. It's hard to say. Uh, I really like the halberd though. I think it does more damage. Ooh, like, like this. Yeah, that's a very powerful attack. And he just learned level 1 halberd, so... Um, you know, that'll do a lot more as time goes on, I feel. Okay, well, we could start attacking here. Um, Deshrin... <laughs> yeah. If she single targets some with Phoenix, they basically will die. Um, 
They'll probably do 50-ish damage, I think. So I'm going to try to stay away from the edge of the uh, table there. You know, we're, we're pretty strong at attack. We're, we're, we're pretty offensively minded right now. Tambo, man. Well, that's what I get for giving him two power lines, right? David will probably one-shot this guy. I wouldn't be surprised. Especially with uh, the attack bonus. Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, no, he gets the defense bonus. Never mind. I had it backwards. Going after Hera, huh? That's your final mistake. He only did one damage to her anyway? What kind of defense does Hera have? I know she used to have really good defense because she was the first person to use the white ring, but 38 isn't that much. Guess it's enough. We'll go maximum long range. Actually, no. We'll go just under maximum long range so that David can uh, get the defense boost by Rock on his turn. <laughs> Or it can attack Robbie. I don't care. If you want to kill Robbie, go for it. I don't think there's much. Now, if Uryudo had uh, the resist spell, this would be a good time to go for it, I think. But I don't have an Ankh that does resist. I don't even know if there is an Ankh that gives you resist. There's a support one for defense. But uh, it's really the magic damage that's going to cause us problems here in a minute. Uh, no, not there. Or right here. Just wanted someone who can do a really long-range attack. Probably, well, there's pretty much no way she can one-shot him, I don't think. But the Paralyze is good. I'm just hoping Deshrin doesn't, uh, you know, take the bait and attack. We'll finish the Monk off one way or the other. Ooh, that's insta-death, I believe. Yeah, utterly destroyed. That's the uh, weapon skill for the killing edge, or whatever they call it. My fire emblem is, is leaking over a bit. So we'll heal up uh, Arthur here. Start prepping for Deshrin battle. Seriously though, if she doesn't move, if she stays where she is, it'll be quite easy to just surround her and kill her. Ah, I'm glad I put someone beside, uh, Azuki here. I'm guessing around 25 damage if it's split by two. Eh, it's a little bit weaker than that. Well, he might have fire resistance. Yeah, they both might have a little bit of magic resistance. A little bit. Yeah, they both had a tiny bit of fire resistance. All right, we need to we need to get through here quick. We need to get the pressure on her ASAP. Arthur, you need to kill this one. And it's good because Arthur needs to make friends with Rock, so um, the two of them need to work together anyway. Like, he definitely needs the defense boost. All right, so. We need to position to keep people close together. I'm going to be using an aura to heal with uh, Uryudo. I'm going to keep people adjacent as much as possible. She doesn't have a ton of MP, I guess, which is good. She can only do that three times. And we can probably kill her. I don't know if we'll be able to kill her in one round, but I'm willing to bet that she'll get, like, one more attack, and that'll be it. Well, it's nice to see the levels are starting to add up. That's not close enough, unfortunately. 
I'm more- well... See, if I put Rock here, I have to make sure I put Robbie beside him, or else he'll, uh, be at risk of being Phoenix one-shotted. Phoenix one-shot. The old, uh, <laughs> the Phoenix Wright saga continues. Actually, what I could have done, and I forgot about it as well, if I could have moved adjacent to her, which I think I had enough range, the, um, the Dragon Axe gives you some fire resistance, and that would have been useful as well. Oh, yeah, this'll work. Maybe we can just kill her. Eh, <laughs> Robbie. Alright, Eryudo. Let's not take an attacking spot. Let's keep him sort of at the back. And, uh, a big old aura. This is why I love Eryudo. It's going to be very hard to out-damage what he can heal, as long as he's got Aura. Alright, we're going to put Hedva... Well, I'd love it if I could get the offensive bonus for her, for magic, but I don't think I can. Uh, what I should do is set up a one-range, or a two-range attack so we can get a Blaze or a Spark in with Synthesis. So don't put Hedva here. Leave that spot for Synthesis, put her here instead. And then she can go with, uh... Probably Freeze 3. Sorry, Desherin. Just don't. I just don't think you've got it in. I don't think you've got enough. This this is more for support with Hazuki than anything. Just so that she gets friends with uh, um, Mask or er, Hedva. Ooh, there we go. Alright, well that will help a fair bit for her uh, magical AoE output. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's, that means four more damage. It's not a huge jump, but it's something. Ah, uh, let's see. So we're at agility 23 right now. She's 22. Where's my Synthesis at? And Synthesis should go next. So I'm actually gonna not attack with Symbio or Medion. Although, again, I could go with Spark right now. But no, I, w I want uh, Synthesis to make friends with uh, Hazuki a little bit more because we lost all that uh, progress. I bet you um, Desherin is stronger against Fire than Lightning. Most enemies, I think, are... There's not too many enemies that are resistant to Spark. They're usually stronger to Fire Rise. Got it. There we go. We got all those friends with Hazuki up. All the Magician ones, anyway. That MP growth is disappointing. Alright, well that's a battle done. Now, I'm going to cut the episode here, I think. Um, just because it's been a little bit long already. But uh, next episode, we'll deal with the fallout of uh, rescuing Domeric and defeating Deshrin again. We're at the point where we're going to start slaughtering High Priests without too much trouble. Alright folks, thanks for watching and hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day.